In our second lecture for the week, we're going to be exploring e-learning tools available through Bethel's library. It's research and writing guides, it's databases, RefWorks, and Turnitin. In the first lecture, we said that you should try to balance two wings of the writing airplane. They say, a reference to what they say, usually in paraphrase and summary with sparing and short quoted phrases. Then maintain your own voice, what you have to say. Whenever you refer to another source, you need to attribute it, you need to indicate anything quoted, and you need to cite it in the text and in a references list. Sadly, many students experience anxiety regarding these responsibilities. Where do I find credible information? How do I cite my sources? How do I know if I'm relying too much on what they say? How do I know if I'm lapsing into plagiarism? Well, Bethel provides electronic learning tools, Bethel Library Research Tools, the RefWorks Research Manager, and Turnitin Source Assessment. Now, there are two main kinds of information source which are considered academically credible. First, there are the materials provided by your instructors, textbooks, class lectures, supplemental sources of various kinds. These are selected because of their credibility. But then there are times when you're asked to do library research. Bethel libraries produce a very powerful and helpful home page, a sort of portal or doorway to other sources. This is a treasure trove of sources that are crucial to your success in college access to books, periodicals, videos, e-texts, etc., and guidelines for what to do researching, writing, and documenting. This is the venue for our week three self-guided tour. More robust implementation of these tools will come about in later courses. Now, when you enter Bethel Library's homepage, you'll find down the left a menu of various kinds of guidance available. For example, there's a Get Help page with contact options, e-communication options, and so forth. And it asks you, what do you need help with? And you have choices, research, library services, or technology and writing. When you click on the Research link in that menu, you'll find all kinds of informative helps on beginning your research, research guidelines, how to do citations, how to write, how to end library videos. These are tools which you should explore for your own use. For example, if you're given an assignment to research something, you can go to the Getting Started page and get help with choosing your topic, finding background information, using research strategies for books, articles, and websites, evaluating sources, and how to write and cite your sources. If you look up effective search strategies, you'll find an emphasis on online databases and indexes. These are available by subscription, which is covered while you're in school by your tuition. You can get to them through the Bethel Library portal using your username and password. These are very sophisticated search tools. They list sources, and those sources have been academically vetted for credibility, and you can access them through topic searches. They provide full bibliographical information, and in many cases, links to full texts. There are two types of database general interest cross-disciplinary databases, such as the Academic Search Premier, and then databases which focus on a specific academic field. For example, ERIC for education, CINAHL for nursing, and PsychInfo for psychology. Take half an hour to play around with the Academic Source Premier database. This is a general interest database covering journalism, scholarly sources, ebooks, etc. It has very powerful advanced search tools. 
For example, there are ways to screen the results of your search, certain date ranges, whether full text is available right away, and which ones are peer-reviewed, that is, scholarly publications. You even have folders to store references in. The effective search tools include a menu with various kinds of strategy and guideline for doing research quickly. For example, there's help on how to cho choose search terms. Smart search techniques, for example, what they call truncations and wildcards. What that means that you, is that you take the short form of a term, and then the wildcard includes all versions of the word. So, for example, ethic star yields ethics, ethical, and all the words that begin with those letters. Some of our databases provide thesaurus or index tools, which let you know the key terms that are used to research in that field. These are very important aids to efficient strategies. If you hang around Bethel Library materials, you'll keep seeing the word CLICK. This stands for a consortium of small college libraries which share resources. So, a student looking for a source that's available at another school's library can order it. Click Search is a powerful discovery tool. It is also a library account system for managing your checkouts and renewals and holds on searches. This is a very good starting point for research. You find it right away there on the Bethel homepage. And remember that it covers both books and articles. Bethel librarians have worked very hard to produce numerous subject and research guides, mini portals which guide student researchers. What are the best resources? What are tips and tricks for digging up the best stuff quickly and ways to contact a person who knows that field? Now, there are general research guidance topics like databases, citations, and so forth and there are research guides on specific academic fields. So those will list the top periodicals in a field, the top kinds of sources, the best database for following field literature. The research guides for your field should be a resource that you would want to explore. Bethel Library Tools will generate an ocean of materials but you might be wondering, how do I navigate this? Okay, I find hundreds of articles. How do I keep track of it? How do I organize things? How do I get back to something later? How do I cite it all? Fortunately, the RefWorks tool is an incredibly helpful tool for working with research. You can keep track of your sources in databases, books, articles, videos, audio files, etc. You can store full citation information. That happens automatically. You can even generate reference lists in a scholarly style. In APA, for example, the style required in CAPS courses. A RefWorks account has to be set up, but it's very worth your while to set one up and then spend some time exploring it. In all of this, when you write, you want to balance the wings of the airplane. Material gathered from sources, discussed in your writing. The danger is that your voice will disappear into your sources. It's very important to quote sparingly and briefly, to attribute everything, to indicate quotations, and to cite. But how will you know whether you're doing this effectively. A great tool for assessing your balance is Turnitin. Some, not all, of your teachers will set up your Moodle gradebook to include links to Turnitin. So you submit your writing to the Moodle assignment tool and the text will be compared to web sources and student essays submitted in many schools you'll receive an originality score, the percent of your text quoted from other sources. This will allow you to track how much of your writing is quoted, and you just don't want to quote too much. You also can check 
Every time you've quoted something, did you mark it as a quotation? Did you introduce it? Did you cite it? This tool can really help you develop your skills in balancing the wings of the airplane. Bethel's tools for research and writing, they're sophisticated, they're powerful, they're available at any time. You always have the option of setting up a communication with research librarians who are very knowledgeable and who love to help students. These are resources to know and use in your work.